So happy Monday. Today you're catching me before I start teaching so I don't look as crazy as normal. So hopefully. <laughs> so today's video is going to be super quick and it's going to be, by the way this is a Whitner hypo hypoallergenic chin rest. This video is going to be how to secure a scarf around your chin rest, which was a requested video. Hi, <laughs> thank you for your request. So um, before we get started, I'm going to just show you the kinds of scarves that I use. So I have kind of this size. This is a silk scarf. Um, I have a couple of these. These are so old and they're kind of ugly. Um, and I recently, when I was in Italy, picked up some new ones and those are a lot more beautiful and they're a bit smaller too so this is one of my favorite ones a little bit smaller silk scarf and I got these actually at a men's department store uh, the name is Barbiori Barbiori I don't know if you are familiar this one's really pretty too they're all 100% silk some of them I also got this one's so pretty lavender is my favorite color um, some of them I actually got in Venice when I was in Venice as well. 100% um, silk. Yeah. So I just thought I would just show you my little collection of them really quickly. Oops. And then I'll show you how to secure them. So yeah, they're just tiny little square scarves. And I just wash them using, I just wash them in my sink using, um, I got this in Macy's a while ago, and this one as well, I got this one in Macy's, same thing, it's a little bit wrinkly. <laughs> uh, I just washed them using like Woolite, this is a black one for performances. Okay, so I've got my viola on my lap, I'm going to fold this in half, this one just needs to be folded in half. Then I'm going to have some excess up here, just a tiny bit down here, and then I'm going to grab a rubber band, like this, put it around my chin wrist, and then fold that over, and it looks like this. Yeah. So if I was to use a little bit bigger one, if you just have like a t-shirt at home, I got um, this t-shirt a while, I guess, and I just love it so much. I, I never really wore it because I'm not really a t-shirt kind of gal, but I cut this off because I liked it, and it's very soft cotton. You can fold this in half, and um, let's just try it in half. Let's secure it with a rubber band and then have it fold over. So it looks like this. It's not really as pretty, but it's really comfortable. So, um, yep, here's another one that I used. I just cut this off of a shirt that I kind of outgrew. I've been getting fatter as the year goes by, <laughs> so I can't fit in my clothes. And that's it. That's kind of what I, what I do. Um, as far as a cleaning cloth, I, this one is so dirty. Um, it's just covered in rosin. I think I have another one in here I brought to show you. This is just like an old handkerchief, just kind of like a cottony handkerchief. And when you clean it, all you have to do is grab it and then just do this. You just scrub it back and forth. You can grab the string and just like, you'll get kind of like a squeaky sound and it really, I can't stand that. You want to clean your um, instrument every time you practice, you want to clean it off because, especially the strings and underneath here, because you don't want to get a buildup of rosin underneath. Um, on, on the wood and you don't want it to build up on the strings either. I think you can use like rubbing alcohol to just really finely clean the strings um, if you do have some residue that's kind of built up but don't get the rubbing alcohol on the wood. Okay so that is all. I hope you like that. I was thinking of doing like a day in the life vlog um, just because I thought it would be so fun to show you what it's like to be a music teacher and just kind of what a really boring day is in my life. <laughs> Maybe I would show you an interesting day. We'll see. Um, but anyways, thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye.